what sports he's gonna play and he's if he's gonna raise him different than he raises the girls is he gonna you know just different parenting thing i figured i would give you guys a little bit of a baby bump here it is definitely popped up popped out a lot sooner this time but that is my little or big actually really big baby bump hello 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 and welcome back to another video today we're gonna do my 12 to 18 week of pregnancy update i know it's like a lot of weeks put into one i was supposed to do these weekly but i've just been so exhausted that i have not gotten into like into it but hopefully starting next week or this week we will do weekly updates on wednesdays and so we're gonna jump right into it i'm sorry if i look naked on my eyes i lost my mascara and i have no idea where it is I was going to put my glasses on. Where are they? I was gonna put my glasses on, but you see that glare? I absolutely hate it, and so we're not gonna put my glasses on. Also, the lighting on my camera is so weird. I don't know what is going on with it, and I can't seem to fix it. So let me see. Okay, hopefully that is better because it's driving me insane. But let's take these off because that glare is driving me insane as well. And let's jump right into my 12 to 18 week update. So I'm currently 19 weeks and one day. I will do that update next week. And so we're going to start off kind of just like how it's been overall. I'm not going to go week by week, but I will give you guys kind of like how it's been in the last six weeks. So one thing I have felt awesome. The last six weeks 12 to 18 weeks is exhaustion i am so tired of being tired that it's awful usually by this time with the girls i was feeling better i was feeling myself i was like back into the groove of things and i have not reached that point with baby boy yet i do have days where i'll wake up and i'm like energized i can take on the world this day and i'm that's amazing but most days I'm just tired, unmotivated, don't want to do anything, and it's awful because I'm not that kind of person. Usually, I'm like up and going. Now, I'm not active like let's go play football or let's go to the park or let's do any of that, but I'm like active within my own home. And let's go to lunch, let's take a drive, let's do that kind of stuff. And lately, I'm just like, no. And so, I'm really hoping that soon I will get back into feeling myself again because i was literally telling anthony yesterday i am just so tired of being tired that i need to figure it out and i did get blood work at my 18 week appointment and i haven't gotten a call back that was last week they did the spin up a test and then more blood work and so they said if something was wrong they would call me back and i haven't gotten a call back so hopefully thankfully everything is okay with baby boy and you know i'm not sure what is what it is or what's going on so i've asked they just said it's pregnancy and hopefully that will you know get better as the weeks go i do think it's my iron and i do have an appointment in a couple of weeks so i'm going to ask about it then but i'm also going to eat things like to help with my iron levels and see if that helps get back into you know me being me because the tiredness is awful another thing that i have experienced is sciatica and with the girls i experienced it much later in my pregnancy but this time around i literally have pretty much experienced it since the very beginning of my second trimester and it is awful if i sit too long i literally cannot get up or i'm limping and like i feel paralyzed like it's awful awful even on vacation my mom would stop and kind of like help me massage and stretch because i lit i just could not move at times and it is i don't like i've never experienced such a thing this bad because with the girls like i said i experienced it much later in my pregnancy and when i mean much later i mean like three weeks before i gave birth to them and so that seems normal to me because i was you know almost giving birth my body was doing all kinds of things and even though i feel like i have a hair even though my body is doing all kinds of things now 
I'm just like, why am I experiencing sciatica so early? And I mean, it is painful, like beyond painful. And I'm hoping that we'll at least get better or I find ways to help manage it because it is no fun when you have to go up the stairs to come to your room or when you have to like quickly get up to do something. That is the worst when I'm sitting down somewhere and I've sat too long and then I get sciatica and I have to like get up to get to the girls really quick. I literally cannot. Like I will fall right back down on the couch or wherever I am sitting because the pain is so sharp that I literally can't deal i don't know what but that is that so exhaustion and sciatica i'm also enjoying water again i actually have my water in my nightstand but i'm actually enjoying cold water again i know in the first trimester i told you guys i hated water and that was unlike me because i absolutely love water there's two things that i drink in life and that's coca-cola and water that is it obviously sprite and different sodas but if you see me and you know me you know that usually i have a coke and a water nearby that is just me and what i drink and so the first trimester when i wasn't you know liking the water it was really hard on me because i was dehydrated pretty much all the time from not drinking water and so i'm actually really glad that i can now drink cold water it doesn't have to be room temperature it doesn't have to have lemon in it it doesn't have to be avoided i can drink water as normal thankfully so exhaustion sciatica i'm drinking water again which i'm hoping that helps with my energy soon the more water i drink you know i actually haven't had a coffee since i found out i was pregnant at four weeks so it's been a really long time since i've had coffee and i think i'm gonna buy myself a coffee today because i have so much to do this week that i need the energy my caffeine choice is coke but my body is so used to it that it does nothing for me energy wise i just like the taste at this point and so since i haven't had a coffee in quite some time i think i'm going to take the girls today to hop in the car and get some coffee because there is a lot to do today so I haven't had any coffee it's not a bad thing you're allowed to have coffee during your pregnancy once a day I have just chose not to I've actually been very weary this time about things that I do the way I carry myself and all this stuff usually I'm very free during pregnancy I live my life normal but because of the miscarriage I have actually just been extra leery weary whatever the word is on what i do and how i live my life on a daily basis so coffee was one of those things that i just cut out regularly and i'm actually gonna have some today might do a lot to me because i haven't had it in quite some time but hopefully it'll just give me the energy boost that i need one second all right Alyssa was doing virtual school and there's times in the day where she like does it independently that was one of the times now she has like a break and she'll need me for her next session so let's try and get this done but yeah so that is the coffee update i haven't had it since i was four weeks pregnant which is when i found out i was pregnant and so i think that now i'm gonna have a cup every now and then just to help with my energy because it is awful being tired all the time another thing is nausea medicine a lot of you guys have asked me what nausea medicine i am on and it is prescribed by my doctor it is the first pregnancy that i take nausea medicine and the reason that i chose to do it this time is because when you have two little ones versus one it was just a lot harder on me getting sick and being so blah all the time when i had a one-year-old she's now two but she literally just turned two a few weeks ago and even with a two-year-old it is really hard sissy is extremely active and needs me behind her all the time and so it was just it was just hard at the beginning and so i opted in to have nausea medicine when i was pregnant with sissy i did not take it and i only had ali but she was a lot calmer than sissy at the age ali was two when i was pregnant as well she turned three a couple days after sissy was born and she was just a different child she needed me all the time but if i wanted to lay down with her and rest I was able to and then if I needed to take a nap I was also able to because I would just nap when she was napping right now I have two and so Alyssa really doesn't nap she just has quiet time 
and so if i really need a nap i will let her like sit her next to me with the tv on or the ipad and fall asleep on my bed but i don't like to fall asleep when she's awake that's only like when i really need it and so nausea medicine does make you tired but it stops the morning sickness like, i can fight through my tiredness most days but if i get sick there's no fighting through it i need to nap afterwards and so that is why i decided to take nausea medicine this time i did take diclegesis i think is what it, it's called at the beginning well no i took fungesta at the beginning just samples and so i had that i think for two weeks because they gave me enough for two weeks but it is pricey because your my insurance doesn't pay for it completely and so i opted to have just like the generic version with bungesta during the samples i only need to take one pill every 12 hours and i was fine with diclegesis which is a generic version you can take up to four pills a day and so i was taking like two or three a day i would never take the four and if i took three even like i would take one midday and two at night i would be exhausted the next day like there was just never enough sleep for me and so usually i would take three one like around 10 one in the early afternoon and then one at in the evening time when i would go to bed and that would just hold me off throughout the day but fighting my tiredness with like legislis was extremely hard i did it most days but it was extremely hard and then it got to the point where it wasn't doing anything for me and so when i was getting ready to go to the vacation that we went to to clearwater in orlando i needed something that was going to hold me the four hour drive because i did not want to be sick on the drive i just did not it would have been miserable and so i opted in to asking my doctor if he could prescribe me benjusta and i would pay the difference and so he did he prescribed me benjusta I pay like $50 when I go and get it. Not that bad, but it is pricing compared to the $10 I pay with the cleansers, and that's what I took on the trip, and that's what I'm currently taking now. I am weaning off of it, and he did warn me that once I wean off of it, I am going to feel a morning sickness again. That's just the way it happens, and so I do feel it sometimes, and it is pretty bad, but I don't like to take medicine usually, and so I'm weaning off of it. Like today, it is what time is it it is 9 51 and i haven't taken it and usually it's the first thing i take at 7 30 so that i can push through i think yesterday i didn't take it at all which would have been like the second day that happened because the very first day i tried to wean off of it i was sick and down majority of the day and so i took it the following day because it was my mom's birthday and we had to drive down to miami and I didn't want to be sick on the drive either. And so we're winning off of it and slowly getting off of it. And hopefully also that helps with my energy and me not being so tired because that's what they're supposed to do. Nausea medicine is supposed to make your brain tired so that you aren't as nauseous. And so hopefully that also helped. So we've talked about my exhaustion, my water intake, my coffee intake, my sciatica, and my nausea medicine i think that that's majority of what i was going to talk about i am going to answer a few questions that you guys asked me on instagram you guys wanted me to do a q a you guys asked, did ask me a few questions i think i'll do a few in every what is this called video the first question is any different symptoms you experience with this time being pregnant with baby boy the main difference that i experienced this time was the fact that i did not like water the fact that i literally could not drink water at the beginning that was definitely completely different for me i had never experienced that my dizziness and headaches were also weird because i did have headaches with the girls but i wasn't like lightheaded and dizzy and so that was different and then my sciatica being extra worse this time or coming a lot earlier than it did with the girls. And then my exhaustion just lasting a lot longer. So four things, my water that I didn't like, my headache, my dizziness, and then my, what is that called? Sciatica and exhaustion. 
how many weeks are you i am currently 19 weeks and one day pregnant i will give you guys the update on that next week but i get this a lot and i haven't answered i don't know why i mean if you dm me i will answer you but i just don't share it like often i truly don't know why i think because i'm being very protective of this pregnancy just in case something happens another question i do get is when are you due and i just say spring of 2021 because again if i am if something happens i just don't want to deal with it and so that's pretty much the reason why i guess but that is why what helped you with nausea so a couple of things helped me sour skittles actually helped a lot it was really weird but it did i don't know if it was like the sourness to the candy i'm not sure but it did lemonade helped sprite and then saltine crackers is a major one and then lemon slices i am a big lemon eater the girls are too it's terrible for your teeth but ali and i can put lemon on anything and everything and then all three of us can actually cut a lemon into slices and just eat it like plain like as a snack and again i know it is terrible for you but that's just the way i've done it all my life and the girls will do it as well so lemon slices actually helped as well and then the last thing that helped was lemon hot lemon water so i would just get hot water from my keurig dump a lemon slice in there and drink it and i would do that in the morning and then if and in the evening either or depending on when i felt the worst sometimes i would take it twice and of course my nausea medicine what have your crazy cravings been like this time around so i've had a few cravings my cravings usually happen at the beginning of my pregnancy and not really towards the middle and end so i've craved cheese fries which i did with aliyah as well and hot dogs those two things i craved with aliyah and i craved them again this time i craved uh cereal so rice crispy cereal fruit loops lucky charms i've craved rice krispies was a big one i think for like three weeks i ate rice krispies every day i needed rice krispies and then i craved my hispanic food so there's certain dishes in my hispanic culture that i love and enjoy and i craved one of them was arrojawado which is just like a soupy rice like a lemony soupy rice chicken you can do it with pork as well and my grandma made it for me because i was craving it really bad and then carne asada which is our traditional grilled steak with rice and beans which is called gallo pinto and fried cheese and then a drink called cacao which is just a kind of like a milky drink made of the cacao seed and so that has been what i've craved this time around my con my like my country's food is hard to get around because i have to drive 45 minutes down south and i don't always want to make the drive but i have made it because of that and then my grandma for the girls birthday party i actually made a pot of arrojawado just for me i did share it with a few other people but it wasn't much just for me because i was craving it and i don't really ask for it a lot i don't get it a lot throughout the year because i think i'm the only one my mom my grandma and me are the only ones that eat it or am i how is anthony feeling about baby boy other family any boy kiddos in the fam this is actually going to be the last question that i'm going to answer just because my light is flashing red and i don't want it to die because i haven't charged any of my batteries so anthony's actually over the moon about having a baby boy with the girls he really didn't care what the gender was Alyssa was very a very tough time in our life for us we were he was just about to graduate college didn't know what he was you know what the next steps in life for him were and i was a sophomore in college i've always wanted a little girl so i knew i wanted Alyssa to be a little girl but he was just like either or it's fine with Alyssa, with alia he wanted a little boy but he was like you know i also really want another little girl for Alyssa, and so he was either or it's fine i wanted another little girl because i was already a girl mom this time we both wanted a little boy and he really 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 wanted a little boy so he is over the moon about his little boy we talk about 
what the future for baby boy is kind of gonna look like as far as like what sports he's gonna play and he's, if he's gonna raise them different than he raises the girls is he gonna you know just different parenting things that we talk about we have other boy kiddos but are actually our kiddos are the youngest kids in our family and so I am the on my side of the family I am the oldest of eight sib like cousins and brother yeah cousins I guess I'm the oldest of my siblings and so I have two brothers a 22 year old and a 15 year old and then all my cousins after them are younger and so myself my battery died as i suspected it would so i found another battery it has a little bit of charge but i was saying my two brothers and i are the oldest of eight cousins and our youngest cousin is 12 so it hops from 12 to 5 which is Alyssa, and she's my daughter and so the girls don't really have any cousins per se they have second cousins which would be my cousins but in hispanic world we don't do second cousins and so those are their aunts and uncles and so they don't really have any they don't have actually any cousins on my side of the family they're the first grandkids on both sides of the family the Alyssa was the first granddaughter and then Aaliyah was the second granddaughter on both sides of the family and now baby boy is the first grandson on both sides of the family on Anthony's side of the family there is three siblings there isn't any cousins because his mom was an only child and so Anthony is the youngest of all three of them the oldest is a girl as well and she just had her firstborn I think four or five months ago and so that is the only cousin they have biologically on any side of the family and then his brother which is the middle one doesn't have any kids yet and so he does have some childhood friends that he grew up with literally on the same street and he's still really good friends with them and they were actually at the girls birthday parties and they have a girl a newborn baby boy and a boy and so the boy and the girl are Alyssa's age and they could call each other cousins as well as the newborn baby but he's a baby newborn and so those are as far as the cousins as that they have but yeah there's not many kids around in the family that is their age so it is tough because our friends haven't actually started having a lot of kids but it is okay we Alyssa was a college baby and then all the other babies we wanted to have them pretty close in age to here goes Alexa to Alyssa but that was the last question I'm going to answer for you guys right now because again my battery is flashing red I hope that you guys enjoyed this update I will do my 19 week update next video and I will answer some more questions then hopefully more because hopefully I have a charged battery but that is it for today's video if you haven't already please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on social media to see more of me the girls and anthony and that's about it i hope that you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video bye